An update of massive developments that are underway in Ghana's road infrastructural landscape has led us to the irrefutable monumental construction of the Obichebi Lamte Interchange. Today, we'll delve into the latest updates surrounding this transformative project, particularly focusing on the commencement of Phase 2 and the significant progress made thus far. So, stick to this video to the end as we delve into the progress impact and promising prospects of this transformative infrastructural initiative. But before we begin as always, I would appreciate a like on this video and subscribe to this channel. Let's get into it. Ghana's efforts to modernize its transportation infrastructure has reached a significant milestone with the ongoing phase 2 construction of the Obichibi Lamte interchange. This ambitious project aims to alleviate traffic congestion improve safety and enhance the overall mobility experience for residents and commuters plying the Accra, Kaneshi and Nkrumah Circle roundabout stretch. This ongoing phase 2 construction covers the third tier of work extending from the interchange towards the Aboto Kain Road and includes the construction of underground storm drains from the Hyundai stretch of the roundabout to Kaneshi. The addition of underground storm drains is a crucial component of the project aimed at addressing the perennial flooding issues in the area. Workers have been diligently working on the construction of double box 2 by 5 meter wide drains utilizing earth moving equipment and trucks to excavate and fill the gullies. The successful completion and opening of the second tier flyover consisting the first phase of the project have already led to a significant reduction in traffic congestion in the area. Completed ahead of schedule in November last year, the first phase involved the construction of the second tier interchange from Graphic Road towards Kanishi as well as two 550-meter viaducts and ramps between Graphic Road and Dr. Buzia Highway. Moving forward, the second phase of the project will see the construction of a third tier flyover from the Abutsukai Central Mosque side of the road towards the STC yard. This phase, expected to span two years, will involve the intricate design and construction work, with QG Construction Limited of the UK leading the execution and the FAS Consult Limited serving as consultants. However, the journey to this milestone has not been without challenges, delays in the project and, and other road infrastructure initiatives across the country have been attributed to the delay of foreign funds stemming from the domestic debt exchange program implemented by the government. Insider reports shed light on the government's efforts to address these delays, including negotiations with contractors to resume work and expedite the completion of the project near the finish line. With many projects hovering around 80% to 90% completion mark, the government is prioritizing efforts to ensure their timely conclusion. Despite these challenges, the Obichebi Lamte Interchange project has made significant progress, currently standing at 88% completion. The government remains steadfast in its commitment to expedite the remaining work, with a clear plan to achieve full completion by September, as recent updates from the project authorities indicate substantial progress, with construction reaching significant milestone well ahead of the said schedule. The interchange structural framework is taking shape, showcasing the impressive skill and complexity of this engineering marvel. Upon completion, the Obichebi Lamte interchange will more than just enhance transportation efficiencies, it will aid in stimulating economic growth as this area is highly plied, improve connectivity and accessibility will also create new opportunities for businesses, residents and visitors, which will all boost up the region's socio-economic landscape. The interchange location is poised to become a vital transportation hub. As it's already highly plied, it will link major thoroughfares and facilitate the seamless movement of vehicles and pedestrians. The design is innovative and the traffic management features and the pedestrian-friendly infrastructure ensures efficient and safe transportation for all users. As the construction progresses, stakeholders remain committed to delivering a world-class infrastructural asset that meets the highest standards of quality, functionality and sustainability. The interchange, as you can see, is developing very fast and is sure to be completed ahead of time. 
as a chain of various interchanges are being sprung up, which will all connect, uplifting the road infrastructure in Ghana. Stay tuned for more updates on this groundbreaking project in the road infrastructure development scene. If you like content like this, be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel as I always bring you riveting content on development in Ghana. Check this video out to see other interchanges that are also being sprung up. Thank you and on to the next video. Be sure to check this video out.